Hell Divers video! Mr. We Act Man. Mr. Hell Diver Man. Clanker Hater. Okay. Three, two, one! Boom. Be the only game where you can say, wow, there's wow. a lot of bots and bugs in this. And Freaking it's a compliment. Bots Demo and bugs. Why did you do that just now? Why? <laughs> who who needs her democracy liberated? <laughs> OMG me. <laughs> I'm leaving the game. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I think it has a real chance to win game of the year in 2024. That's I think a so. Statement, Ackman. Let's see if it ages poorly. But if it isn't at least nominated, then we'll know for a fact automatons have infiltrated the game awards and compromised our democracy. Kill the bugs. I don't know about you, but I'm really enjoying this trend Kill of the clankers. developers releasing games with little marketing that managed to topple their AAA competitors. Look at that. Ones that keep puking out the same garbage we're tired of. I could get used to that. That is pathetic. AAA competitors. Let me see that. Ones that keep puking out the same garbage. I found a new copy pass to it's kind of long though. That's fucking crazy, but who asked? I just want to know who asked. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty bad. 13,000 all time peak. Don't blame me. I. Will blame you. I will. Yeah. Yeah, 14 14 peak. That's pretty strong. We're tired of. I could get used to this. It's refreshing. Like my morning cup of liberty. Eldivers 2 has skyrocketed ha, in popularity. Ha. It became the most played title on Steam and PS5. One of the top selling games on both platforms. They didn't expect to have such an influx of players. That's the best part as well. They've ended up figuring it out, but in the first day or like first three days, it was horrible. And in a rare twist of fate, the player base has remained consistent even a month after launch. Games like this deserve their Look success. Look at the and much more Because the developers at Arrowhead have clearly worked their asses off. Just look at the difference between Helldivers 2 and the original. Might be the biggest leap a sequel ever made. Did wow. you know Helldivers 2 was in development for so long that the engine they used to make it was discontinued? Me <laughs> Wait, that's horrifying. Yeah, that's why you want to make your games at least like at a relatively fast pace. Sometimes you have to scrap the whole thing. Meaning Arrowhead had to improve and modify the engine while working on the game. Now, I don't know kiss? much about all this game development, but even I know that shit ain't easy. So what the uh, hell uh, uh. is so special <laughs> about Helldivers 2? Why it is it thriving bugs. while recent AAA releases are struggling? Has it uncovered some secret to make live service games not so boring and formulaic? And most importantly, is Helldivers 2 worthy of being called a masterpiece? It's well, pretty good. Let's praise democracy, brew a cup of liberty, <laughs> and get sick for a combat drop. <laughs> Together, we must take back control of freedom. We are so Kill bad. bugs. We are, dude, we are so bad. Dude, we are back. Bro, oh my bro, god. Dab me up. Wow. Dab me up right now. We are with you, Zyle, for freedom to the death. <laughs> my leg. My leg. I've, all, I've watched several other VTubers play the game. Why do the main characters, when they're calling out stuff, sound so like they're so in pain? Grenade! Just screaming their heads off. <laughs> yeah, the VAs went so hard. They didn't have to, but they did. It's a war zone. I know. It's just funny, though. It's funny. Why are you calling this on me? Oh my god. Oh my there god. There's no fucking way. This is there is no fucking way this is gonna be possible. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the escape pod data. Sniper. Oh, oh shit! You are not going anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Oh my oh, god. The soundtrack is insane. The, when you start going back down into like the last minute or two, the soundtrack goes so 
freaking hard. Just listen. Oh my gosh. Right down the fire. Yo, right down the liberty. It's awesome. There's three of them. There's three of them. Look at all those bugs. Yes. Nice. Yes. This is it, baby. Holy. Holy moly. What's that? News from the Ministry of Truth? They say this video is sponsored by Arup? No, Indeed, it's the no, life-changing water bottle built by Science and Liberty. Oh, no! To turn Not Actman too. Water. They got Without him! any additional sugars, sweeteners, nothing. It's pretty ingenious because our they sense of smell got influences him, our taste. And the way it works is that by drinking through the straw, a slipstream is created where water and air go through the pod and into your mouth. Now, I know a lot wow. of people who don't like drinking water for some reason. They prefer... <laughs> I will never understand that. I never will. Tea, soda, energy drinks, and they go through life totally dehydrated. If you know you don't drink enough water, then this is the perfect solution for you. And you have the freedom to pick and choose from a variety Guys, of different subs? flavors. Guys, gamer pods. subs, right up there, Basil right up there. Gamer subs, and it's instead. Super easy to swap the pods out. Would you prefer Manscaped? Yeah, probably. Why are you asking? Bang, just like that. You want flavor? Pull up. Leave Whoa. It right there. If you don't, just push down. Easy. So order your Arab water bottle today using the link in the description and pinned comment. And don't forget to use my promo code ACTMAN10 to get 10% off. Whoa, 10%. Stay stay and thank you, Arab, for sponsoring ACTMAN10. And now for something completely different. What would you get if you took Starship Troopers, Terminator, Halo, Left 4 Dead, and threw them all in a blender. You would get every wet dream I've ever had. Check it out. Watch how it shoots. I think it's. Uh, what kind of wet dreams are you having, sir? That looks really <laughs> cool. Oh my god. It, dude, it just hit the fucking. No way that just. Oh happened. my lord. Guys that was in awesome. Space shooting aliens is a concept I have simped for my entire life. In Helldivers 2, you don't have the traditional kind of video game storytelling, it's more community based. And I'll explain what that means later on. <laughs> This is the reference to that thing, um, uh, what is it called when they climbed up top of the mountain and laid in the American flag? Yeah, that's a reference to that. <laughs> and it's a bug instead. <laughs> the game takes place in a sort of utopia. Where yeah, the flag raising. One world government called Super Earth. And yeah. Is perfect. But freedom doesn't come free. <gasps> oh! oh my god! Sweet liberty! No! I like that it's a parody of just really extreme war time. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Look familiar? That's right. Yeah, Our glorious duh. super earth is under attack. Our democracy and freedom is being threatened. Why I love this. this? It's so funny. I'll tell you why. Because our enemies hate freedom. Do you want to know what I hate more than anything else in this world? Bugs. Anyone who isn't free. The fascism aspect, the whole for democracy, sweet liberty. That's all just window dressing, you know? It's flavor. Mm. It's no different than terrorists versus counter terrorists. Yeah, Nazis of course. Versus everyone else the absurd <laughs> levels of patriotism not absurd the reasonable levels of patriotism <laughs> opens the door for some of the funniest dialogue you've ever heard reasonable okay. Hello to democracy! <laughs> my life for super earth <laughs> my life for super earth Imagine being one of the voice actor for this. Obviously, there is a vibe. It's so of good. I love it. Militarism and patriotism, and the best part, I'm brainwashed into all of it. Part of the beauty yep. of Hell Divers too is that it has no deep, thought-provoking story. It's not really trying to to make a. Statement. All you do is kill bugs and kill robots. That's it. I mean, it's obviously inspired by Starship Troopers, but you know the story is basically like, "Hey, do you like freedom? Yeah, sweet. Let's go kill bugs. Yeah. No good bug is a dead bug. That's One right. Of the side objectives you can get is to terminate illegal broadcasts, 
which are spreading the idea that the war against the Terminids is all because of oil. I've checked with the Ministry of Truth on this. <laughs> this is way too on the nose. This, and they have confirmed to me that this is treason and it's not true. Brewed free back home. Yo, it's leading all the flavor polls. Coca-Cola. Oh, shit. Of course I believe that because Democracy not Cola. It be treason. <laughs> the Ministry of Truth said so. Yeah. They you can't fight freedom without sugar diabetes hit. Lie? Yeah, they would never lie. But Helldivers is so silly and over the top that it's more fun to Aww, play along. Huggies. Especially when you have game trailers that are like this. The socialist automatons terrorize innocent families. Babes are torn from their mothers. No! From their ballots. <gasps> In the shop, only reviews approved by the Ministry of Truth are allowed. <laughs> <Review laughs> under investigation for treason. <laughs> it's redacted! It's treason, then. Yeah, so shit talking. Loads, it says, You're done. Wait democratically. <laughs> This is super unique because these are parts of a game that, you know, aren't ever stylized in any sort of way. And yet they take this concept and they just, they plaster it all- Shits democratically. Over the game in every way they can. You also get to name your this shit is so by choosing good. from some preset words. Mine, of course, was the fist of patriotism. Yeah! You can also choose something like wings of liberty, patriot of patriotism. Founding father of family values. Nice. Games like Power World, Deep Rock Galactic, and now Helldivers have this uncanny ability to tap into meme culture and create memes <laughs> and capitalize on all of that without being cringe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, freak bugs. <laughs> Damn, in the name of fucking propaganda, fucking Twitter there. Let's go. Already, nice. the fans are making their own propaganda posters like Take Back the Creek, Stamp Out the Bot. I fucking love the culture and fan base and community around me. <laughs> it's the Giga Chad Walker! Game. It truly feels one Giga of a kind. Chad, Giga and, um, Chad, check, uh, Giga Chad. Yeah, check, check Act Boys. There he is. He's in our chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> run! <laughs> you're, being, you're being rescued, run! <laughs> so Helldivers 2 is a third-person co-op shooter where you and three buddies... Where's Caius when you need him? To an army he loves this game. ...and a race of giant bugs. And by liberty and freedom, I mean explosives and bullets. That should right there. Come on! BAM! Okay, Helldivers does a great job of combining familiar tropes into something that overall feels fresh. Bugs and propaganda from Starship Troopers. Are it's really satisfying. The corpse is flying everywhere and the sounds are very, very crispy. Automatons and robots from yeah. Terminator. Armor that kind of looks like Spartans from Halo. Helldivers equals Hell Jumpers. Even the dropships are called pelicans. But unlike Power <laughs> World, nobody pelicans, has brought up the word why? plagiarism. Because these designs are unique and they are fucking sick. But much like how You wanna know what I like about it? Oh my god, he just Fucking act man. I literally was about to bring up the fact that so one of the first videos I ever did on YouTube was me criticizing that stupid Left for Dead sequel knockoff, whatever it's called. They studied the body physics, the guns, the sounds of guns, the refractions, like, yeah, Back for Blood, that was the shitty game. I, they studied this, and they made it so good back in 2008 when the game came out that it took them thousands of hours to perfect it, and I think Helldivers do probably did this exact same thing as well. How shooting zombies in Left 4 Dead 2 never gets old. Yeah. Neither has blasting bugs and clankers. Because every single piece of physics works together to make it a unique experience as opposed to like Back for Blood where it's just like bleh, 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 like the same animation over and over. Wah, 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 Alana parroting. Okay, dude. I'm not parroting, but okay. One because the gameplay mechanics are more solid than Snake. And don't two, know how I am, but I don't players, think I am. Visual feedback. Yeah, you visual feedback, bug, that's the good word. Fall over and die. No, it gets eviscerated. Their mm -mm, limbs mm -mm, are mm -mm. torn off. They might start limping, puking up blood. You can strip Blood, off you mean green target, blood. For example, and see the green goo beneath. It's visceral and satisfying like no other game I've played. The amount of ways you can inflict damage mm -mm, on the bots mm -mm. and bugs is crazy. 
It's so well, how much studying would they have to have done as well? It's, it takes a lot of effort to study things like this. So dynamic. It's like a technical marvel. Oh, that is danger close. Oh. Running, oh. running. <laughs> Kill all oh, of my God. And then the limbs blow off. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Chunks of metal go flying everywhere. You can shoot up their arms, destroy the weapons on their back. Almost every single firearm and sandbox tool feels powerful and oh, satisfying the fire to use in its own fire way. Thrower. The ragdoll effects are hilarious. Fuck! Oh. Sometimes but. the character just gets flung across the map so hard he smashes. There's so many into different weapons too. Impact. And you got this sick dive move, which makes avoiding enemies and explosions look so dramatic. There's some games that you play and you're like, wow, this is like playing through a movie. And that's what Helldivers is like. Except you are the action star and yeah. these aren't scripted. <laughs> the animations and attention to detail is what makes every moment of combat so damn cinematic. Wow. Ooh, ooh. With games ooh. like this, most of the fun comes from the enemies you shoot at and what you shoot them with. There is a huge variety of enemy types in Helldivers 2. And each enemy type has weak points, which force players <laughs> to use and swap between different tactics on the fly. Some robots, enemies like this man. Charger look like they can only in be the damaged machines. from the back. But if you get a powerful enough weapon, you can strip the armor off their legs. And yeah, they have weak points, kind of like Monster Hunter. Them. It's pretty There's neat. always more than one way to get the job done. I mean, you got things like drop ships, bug holes, giant bug holes, cannons, uh -huh. tanks, holes. wild titans, these fucking abominations. Yeah, the underbelly. Get his underbelly. It's soft. Oh my. <laughs> Huge robotic hulks with flamethrowers. Oh my. The are so important because, you know, in a game like Destiny, they would have a bunch of numbers on the screen when you shoot something. And Helldivers doesn't need that. You can see how much damage you've done to something just by. Oh yeah, at there's StarCraft music in the background. Increase the number of right. enemies instead of just boosting oh, their damn. HP and damage. And I think that's the right way to increase the challenge. It's why the difficulty and balance in this game feels so amazing. Didn't they ask for nerfs on the difficulty though, like the community, and then the the devs said skill issue basically. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. And since there's no PvP, and there never will be, the developers can go hog wild and create a bunch of overpowered bullshit that you can throw at the enemies nice. of democracy. There's rarely a dull moment in Helldivers. It's a non-stop rush of adrenaline and unscripted cinematic chaos. And after 50 Very hours, cool. it hasn't gotten stale one bit. Helldivers' biggest strength comes in its variety Look at that! every aspect of its game design, especially the sandbox. The people of Super Earth clearly pay their goddamn taxes, and apparently it all goes to the military because we are well equipped <laughs> lads. You have these things. It's just like America, for real, for real. It's called stratagems, which are essentially kill streaks you pick and spawn in with. Get in the shield, boys. The shield is here. Nice. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, you landed on the. The fact that they have the graphics so that, like, you know how they have different maps? And then there's day and night as well, right? Or like it's dark. It, it's crazy to me that it looks almost like a movie, like he said. Like the lasers are refracting like light and the beam of light coming down is also creating a spot for you to see better. That just blows me away. Yeah. Yeah, it's immersive, that's the word. Combo, the numbers yeah, on your credit card, combo. and three digits on the back in order to call them in. Picking the right stratagem at the right time is paramount to success. Hell yeah. And when you're trying to do this shit while out running a horde and, and trying not to kill your teammates, well... And trying to remember it if, it's the, if you did it right because you have to do it at the right moment. It's, it's just awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! shit! Bond and instantly was killed again. Orbital mm -mm -mm -mm. lasers, carpet bombs, napalm strikes, mini nukes. You can have guard dogs that watch your back with laser beams, jetpacks that let you quickly escape, sentry turrets to watch your six, more nice. shield generators. Throwing grenade! The convention is no more. I mean, there is a meta, which becomes more prevalent on higher difficulties because 
you need something big to take out the bile titans but even on suicide bile mission, titans me and the boys can bring in whatever the fuck we want and still come out okay hell divers 2 doesn't pigeonhole you into one specific optimized play style mm -mm, and that's what mm -mm, i love mm -mm. about it part of the reason the game is so replayable is that it's a lot of fun to mix and match primaries secondaries grenades backpacks and, and synergize your strategy with your teammates hell divers rewards good teamwork and strategy not to mention that i have played a lot of shooters in my time and i've never played something that felt like hell divers when it comes to the aiming when it comes to the actual shooting mechanics and you can't just like max out your sensitivity in order to zip around and like instantly do a 180 to shoot something behind you. It takes what, so it's actually kind of like real life, at least to some degree. It's time to line up the shot. And That's you have cool. to know when to crouch to improve accuracy and recoil, when to reload mm. so you don't waste ammo, pacing your shots. There's so many little mechanics you can master to really flourish in this game. And it makes the shooting feel awesome. Helldiver's core combat is complemented perfectly by its level design, which emphasizes risk versus reward. Sure, you can do the main missions and just exfil out of there, but a real patriot completes all the optional missions, clearing out every outpost- No matter how hard it to is! To maximize XP and rec slip gains. Samples are also an important resource to upgrade your ship permanently, but they- mm, little tag death. team? Let's say your team is starting the evac and you just died and dropped all your samples. You've got two minutes. Do you stay with your team and help them defend or risk it for the biscuit and make a beeline for your samples? All this for a couple of samples. Get the samples. <laughs> and the music, bro. I can't get at over the music. You have to decide. Do you split your team up to tackle multiple objectives at the same time or stay together as a single unit? Throughout each mission, players are constantly making decisions Light bug like nest eliminated. based on the risk and the reward. As a team, you have to decide There's when so much to do shit the going on. objectives and when it just ain't worth it, man. On top of this, there's a time limit and a limited number of lives. If the clock hits zero, you can't call in reinforcements, no respawns, and you can't use stratagems. So when choosing where to spawn on the map, you want to plan the most efficient path to complete everything. And when you, do, when you maximize the rewards and see that fat XP gain, that five-star mission completion, yeah. Yeah, it's better than sex, for sure. That's what? Like one of the best missions I think I've ever done. <laughs> Caps off the whole, the whole thing. Outstanding patriotism. Honestly, yeah, I could believe that. I could believe that. Outstanding patriotism. Look Amazing. at those samples, man. Ah, that's beautiful. And like I said, teamwork is important. Boom. Dealing with a bunch of really powerful explosives and carpet that's bombs. That's so sick, shit. man. And friendly fire is on. Run! Just go, just go, just go. I just love go. shooting my friends in the head on accident. Ooh, right there, right or there. on purpose. What? <laughs> what? You killed, get in! Get in! <laughs> How did you kill me? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, no. He blew his head How off. Did you kill? Why? Spenny. Why? 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 Spenny almost sold that whole mission. In Why the last would you... five seconds. That is the Holy worst shit. place you could have killed me. Tonight. Dude, oh my get God. this guy away from the fucking stove immediately. He can never cook ever again. <laughs> and while it's very hard to resist griefing your friends, when shit hits the fan, sloppy teamwork will be the death of you and all the democracy you're fighting for. Man, the friendly fire has been off the chain. Democracy. I know. Oh, look okay. out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Straight Speaking of, him. Jesus. <laughs> you almost slammed into him. To... That's kind of how they balance all these overpowered stratagems. With friendly fire, you can't just carelessly chuck out a nuke whenever you like. Oh, no, God, you dude. blow your friend's okay, head he off. In a real war, you gotta watch out for your brothers and yourself because even the dropships can kill you. Oh, oh yeah. My fucking God. You've gotta be shitting me. <laughs> you have <laughs> actually on. got to be shitting me. He got landed on. In no way he was standing, he did in oh which way my he stood. God, shut up. You can also <laughs> kill up. enemies and teammates with your own drop pod. It's fucking awesome. You Why killed didn't your friend. Another cool mechanic is reloading. Some weapons require ammo backpacks and it's slower to reload. Wait, you could have a friend reload you so that it takes up less time? 
Dude, that's roleplay right there. You guys love army roleplay, don't you? Yeah, look at him like putting it in there. If you carry yeah. it, it becomes almost instant if your teammate does, allowing you to launch shell nice. after shell downrange. This emphasis on risk and reward, teamwork and synergy makes Patriotism. one of the most enjoyable and satisfying games to play with your friends. So I'd say the core gameplay is basically perfect. I really don't have many complaints, except those escort missions against the fucking automatons. That was hell. But a game like Helldivers might completely fall apart. Was it hell? Was it a buggy or was it just annoying because it's on escort missions? I hate escort missions no matter what. I think that might just be a game thing. Like, I've never in my life played a game that had a good escort mission. The difficulty was fucked. Are you sure? Is it just not like the escort sucking butts? They nerfed those missions and nerfed it twice and it was still really hard. I don't know. I hate escort missions just in general. If the objectives are boring. Thankfully, there's as much variety in the mission design as there is in the sandbox. There's no break types. to move civilians. The objectives yeah. are much more involved and creative than you would expect. You have to do things like manage the terminal, enter proper combinations, and do all these things while fighting, while fighting. enemies. Often you I think that's a good, um, what is it called? Um... It does it, it kind of gives you a break from all the shooting, but then also reminds you that you're still in a hellscape in the middle of like doing a, a you know, c killing all those bugs and all those automatons. And then you have to do a little puzzle like it's not too difficult, but you have to do it while you're, you know, watching your back. You have to make yourself vulnerable to yeah. complete the objective on the galactic map. You get to choose where you land, mm. what types of missions you do, what time of day. And you see what modifiers might make the run easier yeah, day or more night. challenging. Because you have a choice, you never feel like you're doing the exact same thing every time. And you know precisely what you're getting into. Many other multiplayer games get repetitive and dull in a fraction of the time I've played Helldivers for. On yep. both planets, sometimes you run into these big ass stalkers. These guys are no joke. They are tanky. They can chase you down and kill you fast. But if you take out their nest and tell them to fuck off, they won't spawn for the rest of the round. So it's like an evolutionary thing. So on a different planet or whatever. Yeah, they have the bugs that evolve into different things. That's sick. Three months smuggle on a rave. Yo, Kiba, thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, those stalkers. There's artillery stations you can find, and if you load <laughs> them up with five shells, bam, you now have five extra artillery stratagems for the rest of the mission. So the game rewards you with XP and progression, of course, but also in making the mission easier. That's great design. Mm. There's also plenty points of interest, and you can find premium currency and war bonds out in the world just Wham. by exploring. You may be encouraged to complete everything and try to do that every round, but ultimately, it's your choice when to call it quits. And those are two words I love. Player choice. Did I Me mention the too. planets in Helldivers 2 are procedurally generated? Yeah, I know. It doesn't even feel like that when you're playing. Making procedurally generated content feel handmade is one of the hardest things I can imagine for a game developer. But the result is an endlessly replayable experience. Every planet is stunning and gorgeous in its own way. Wow. <laughs> Now I got and the little glow flies too that are lighting up the area. Nice Very rig, cute. 4090 graphics card. And I tell you, this is one of the best looking games wow. I've ever played. Wow. Each planet hosts a different biome. And once again, variety is the spice of life here. You have Space Vietnam <laughs> in Malekalon <laughs> Creek, snowy <laughs> planets, lava planets, jungles, rocky mountains. Yo, yo, what is this? Make snowball? 10 out of 10. Best game, best game. You can make a snowball in a game where you're killing robots and bugs. That is so cute! Throw it at his head. Throw it at his head right now. Yo. Excuse what? Me. what? Throw it at his... How do I, how do I make a snowball? I don't know. There was just a button prompt for it over here. What? Oh Some my god, that is so cute. In a bright orange light that obscures <laughs> vision. It's not just <laughs> giant bugs you have to overcome and contend with, but the environment itself. Darkness and fog can really put you on edge. 
because sometimes you don't see the enemy until they're right in your face. Go to you and I can't see fucking shit right now. Crossing a it's river so might dark. not seem too challenging, but when there's no cover, you move slower and you throw a shit ton of robots on the other side. Crossing that river becomes a massive hurdle. Snowy planets can make you move slower and reduce the fire rate of your guns. So many little details. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Uh, uh, oh, fire, it fire. I can see the fucking yo. And here's the thing all these factors, weapons, stratagems, planets, modifiers, mission objectives, optional missions, points mm -hmm. of interest, all of these things make each mission feel unique from the last. Even when you're doing it on the same planet, in the same biome, I genuinely cannot compliment this game enough. So whenever new planets are unlocked, I'm excited to get on and see what else the game can throw at me. What, uh, Freedom Peak? Freedom Peak? <laughs> Li Liberty Ridge? <laughs> also, whenever you dive onto a planet- <laughs> All you're missing is like fucking McDonald's planet. It you're Burger King a, Town. A spectacular backdrop, which seems to change depending on what part of the planet you dive on. Now, this might not be true, but it's my headcanon that when you travel somewhere and you see all these other ships, I like to think those are other players' ships. Aww. If you, look down, you can even see stratagems being called in. I mean, that's it, cool. It feels like a real war, man. This, fuck, this game is so good. There's even a bit of battlefields level in destructible environments. <laughs> I mean, this game has everything. Capitalism. Oh god, he just blew that house up. To make matters even better, Helldivers 2 is a $60 game being sold for 40. You get more Wait, it's $40 for graphics like that and the gameplay? That's a steal. Out of this than a lot of other that is AAA a releases. And like Baldur's Gate 3 and like Pal World there's no catch no scummy business practices arrowhead just wanted to make a fun video game and wow. it shows. everything the ceo has been saying online is so fucking based he was straight up telling people Basically. to wait and buy the game until the servers were fixed have you ever seen a ceo Aww. be like yeah it's okay if you don't buy our product right now no no you don't hear that so Hell bye, bye, bye. Have no, a no, no. Pass, but it does have a freedom pass which is way cooler and like halo infinite these seasonal and event passes will never expire that's right no fomo grind at your own pace what nice concept. and to get the premium you need a thousand super credits now this is where companies like activision would do something like charge you ten dollars for 800 super credits or fifteen dollars for 1300 credits they would pull some scummy little tactic with the in-game currency mm -hmm. to get you to buy more than you actually need mm -hmm. Not you. you just spend 10 bucks you got it some armor sets in this are straight up like this is how you know they're not corpos yet <laughs> they're not squeezing every little penny out of you two dollars or less meanwhile at activision blizzard buy a different portal color Thirty dollars. Buy a horse that costs more than the base game. Yep, seventy dollars for a when horse. Gamers are fed up with how greedy big corporations are. I'm happy to say that the developers of Helldivers 2 respect your time and your wallet. They earn that money. Mm -hmm. They also wanted to make sure they avoided any pay-to-win comparisons or mechanics. The desert with the, the fire is so sick. Is arguably worse than the free one. And unlike other games where you can pay to skip tiers, you can't. You can only progress the freedom pass by playing the game. The only respect. Respect. The issue is that the grind is ridiculously slow. I put more than 40 hours into the game and I'm nowhere near unlocking everything. If we could buy war bonds with requisition slips, that'd be nice because at a certain point you unlock all the stratagems and you just requisition slips mean nothing to you. Now, like I said, there isn't a campaign or a main story. There's more lore than there is story. But what's the purpose behind this war? Liberation. Quite possibly one of my favorite features <laughs> in all of video games is in Helldivers 2. Galactic Conquest 2.0, as I like to call it. There is a war going on in real time. Every day, the forces of evil push against us. They seek to conquer our outlying planets, kill our civilians, murder yeah! our families. Helldivers 2 has a sort of dungeon master behind the scenes, controlling what planets are open, what planets get attacked. Somewhat recently, the order was for players to fight the automatons in these defense missions, but now the Terminids are moving in and we got to push them back. So- Oh, you mean it's not, it's not a, what is it called? Um, 
not procedurally generated, like someone's actually controlling it. It's not like a server that just does it at random. That's sick. It's like this ebb and flow. That's neat. And every time you and your team achieve victory in a series of missions, you liberate a very small... It's automatic. They have a game master. Is it controlled by a person or is it automated? Like a... Let's say on Tuesday, Planet Y happens and on Wednesday, Planet X happens. I find that boring. I think that's stupid. It's not scripted. Okay, so you're wrong. The guy who said that. Yeah, it's a dude. It's one dude is controlled by a person. Okay, that's neat. I love that because I hate it when it's like, oh, on the 30th of March, it's going to be this planet and then you can't get that planet again until like the second week of April. I hate that shit to the planet liberate enough That's sick. and players will push deeper into it's controlled by joel <laughs> community fails too much or doesn't divert Troll enough manpower Joel's those fish. planets may be lost and and the enemy pushes deeper into our territory who's the genius behind this idea i want to give him a medal joel! I it's very hard to balance something like this especially with the massive unexpected player count they had but they seem to be doing a good job of it, and as long as I feel like I'm doing my part, I'm happy. Yeah! And this is why Helldivers 2 has the greatest blueprint for a live service I've ever seen. Any event, seasonal change, new enemy faction can be introduced to the players and community like a breaking news report in the ongoing war. What? They can take what is just like regular content and advertise. It's like not forced roleplay. Does that make sense? They're not shoving the lore down your throat, but if you want to participate, you can. It's kind of cute. I like that. In game, as if it's Little propaganda. Play. Our scientists have been hard at work creating mechs, and they're finally ready for the battle. They front. fucking this love genius, this game. A live service that's just an endless list of menial tasks and chores to complete, or Dailies. an artificially inflated grind to maximize the fear of missing out. The live service here is entirely based on the community's efforts Hug. and i think that's a big reason why the game is sustaining such a large player base mm -hmm. and why it will in the future this is why there's been a somewhat of a ceasefire around this game between you know playstation and xbox fanboys because we need all the men we can get for democracy we have the, ships. We have the weapons <laughs> we need soldiers yeah. in conclusion Helldivers 2 is one of the best co-op games I've ever played. It's some of the most fun I've had with my buddies, and I can't stop playing it. Considering I still play Left 4 Dead 2 and Vermintide 2 semi-regularly, Helldivers 2 is going to be one of those games. One of those, oh, it's been 5, 10 years, let's go play Helldivers 2, and we go back Sick. to it as if no time has passed. For their first attempt at a shooter game, Arrowhead have hit a grand slam, and their pro-consumer attitude gives them all the goodwill in the galaxy. I nice. think Helldivers 2 is going to become a landmark title in the four-player co-op genre. Those nasty ones, the freaking eggs on their backs. A game so good that studios in the future will look back on it to try and replicate what it does so well. Helldivers and then they do it a million times worse. That's my favorite part. They try to emulate it and they just fucking suck. Divers 2 is everything I've ever wanted Maybe from a co-op PvE eradicated. I'm going to stick around and watch every update from now until support is dropped. And that is why Helldivers 2 is a masterpiece. Yay! What do you think of Helldivers 2? Have you been enjoying it as much as me? What's your favorite part about the game? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Like the video. It's like Halo, it, Left 4 Dead, and... For more awesome content. Vermintide right, combined. today. This is the act man signing mm, out. Mm, mm, mm. Peace. Peace. Yay. What a nice video. That was so cool. Chat clamjers. Clamjers. Very nice. Drop the link in the chat. Mr. Act man. Very cool guy. There's a YouTube channel that makes parody news broadcasts of what the community is doing. That is so cute! I love it when people just like soft roleplay in video games like that. They don't take it too seriously, but they're just goofing around at the same time.